today's video, after many suggestions, I'm finally going to be building a high school in Bloxburg, and this is going to be cut up into three parts. Part one is going to be focused on the exterior, in part two I'll be focusing on the interior and the furniture, and in part three I'll be inviting all of you guys to come to my high school. So as you can see behind me, I have a rough little layout of what I want for my high school. Not too detailed as we're going to do it together. And for the theme of this high school, I'm kind of going with a Japanese anime inspired high school because I love the look of them and I thought it would be really cute. And every high school needs a name, so we're going to name this the School of Salem. Are you joking? The School of Samira. Oh wow, what I can say Samira but not Salem? What does Bloxburg have against my cats, huh? How dare you! Okay, so here is the layout I have so far. If you want to copy it, bada bim bada boom, here you go. And this isn't going to be one story. I'm talking two story, mademoiselle. Maybe even three story. I don't know if you guys have ever played the game Yandere Simulator. <laughs> I'd be concerned if you have, but uh, there's this game called Yandere Simulator. And uh, it's about this crazy girl who has a crush on this boy at school. It's based in Japanese high school. So this is actually what the high school looked like in Yandere Simulator. So weirdly enough, I'm actually drawing a lot of inspiration from that high school. It also looks like it's three story. I don't know if I need to make this high school three story. It definitely would look cool. Do I make it this three story? Do I not? I'm making it three story. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna make it three story. I am gonna make this centerpiece three story because in the middle here, I want a big clock tower like this. You know how in some schools they have a massive clock tower? Yeah, I feel like that would be super cute. So speaking of this clock tower, I might even work on this first. Just slap a flat roof on there. I guess I can kind of make it out of a cube. Just put a cube on the top and then in the middle we need this to be a circle so does Boxburg have circles? I feel like I'm staring right at it. Mm. <laughs> oh I'm pretty sure it's just four of these convex outer corners. Every time I mention the word convex I genuinely do not know what it means. <laughs> paint this green so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, that is so much easier. <gasps> Wait, I think I'm making it work. Hold on. Okay, four of these. Boom. Is that not the most perfect circle you've ever seen in your life? Oh my god, Alaska. Alaska, you're so smart. Oh my god, teach me your ways. I'm just gonna lift it up a tad bit. And ha ha ha, we have the top of the clock tower. The good thing is, because this whole episode, I'm just gonna be focused on the exterior, I can make it super detailed without rushing it. Another thing I might do is start painting as I'm building, so I don't have to paint this whole thing again. We might do linen bricks. Yes, linen, ew, I know, shush. Today we like linen, okay? I want this high school to look cute. Also, can we talk about the fact that I've been doing Bloxburg building videos for over a year now, and I have not built a high school? <gasps> This is not center. Oh, Stop. Yikes. That is embarrassing. What was I even saying? I got distracted by my awful building skills. <laughs> oh, yes. I've been building on Bloxburg for over a year and I have not built a high school yet. Isn't that crazy? I mean, technically I have built a high school, but it was for my town. It wasn't a super big high school, if that makes sense. Okay, now that this clock tower is centered, hopefully now it won't look like a total flop cake. And on the top, we shall have a flag and I might actually get rid of this middle pillar. And then this way we can have a massive decal, which is going to be boom a clock i kind of like the look of that so i might even get rid of the middle pillar around this massive clock tower and just add multiple clocks boom and if you don't know what i done pretty much i went into square decals typed up transparent clock scrolled down a little bit and found this bad boy <laughs> you can't really see it but it's okay i want to start painting these schools so i think we're gonna go with these ceiling tiles for the outside maybe in a mid gray like that oh we could go darker medium stone gray yes 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 and considering most of the walls are going to be the same Every two blocks, we can place these massive pillars. Wait, why is that not centered? Maybe because that's three blocks, you fool. <laughs> Maybe once this school's built, I can start attending math lessons. <laughs> I think I think I need it. I haven't been to school in a while. I think I need the refresher of simple maths. Oh, I love these wood panelings on the bottom. I think they look cute. As for the windows, I think I'm just going to stick with these sunset windows. And I don't know about you, but every anime high school is, has blue tinted windows. So we're going to keep the natural blue tint. I feel like I haven't watched anime in ages. I remember during lockdown, I would binge watch Attack on Titan. Now I haven't watched it in ages, so maybe after I finish building this high school. Hi. Okay. Okay, I like the look of that. You know what? I'm gonna be a little bit extra and add an extra roof here and bring this up with, you guessed it, more pillars. This feels illegal. I just used a fancy pillar and then used linen for the texture. Bit odd, but 
Anyway, for the roof, I think I'm going to continue using these tiles. Maybe we'll use white so they stand out more. And we'll do the same thing over here. You know how every country has a different aesthetic? On TikTok, I see those videos that say different high school aesthetic in different countries. And there's America, which looks so cool. And then there's Japan and Spain. And this was the image we got from Australia. <laughs> Actually, let me know in the comments, is there any country that you'd like to go to to experience the high school? Mine was America. I remember when I started high school, I was like, I want to move to America so I can experience what it's like to be in high school there. <laughs> So random. And I don't really know what to have at the front here. So a mini garden it is. Oh, I accidentally painted the tiles red planks. And why does it kind of look good though? I would usually make the gardens messy, but the whole aesthetic I want for my high school is to make it look clean and proper. So all the plants in here are going to be very even. The gardener at the school, you know, he loves his job when the plants be looking like this. I work hard to make this house a home. Yes, Japanese blossom trees all the way. Okay, so now for this front section. I want to make sure it stands out. So you know what? I'm going to have another roof here, which can be the balcony. That would look cool. So then if it's raining, these people can come undercover and wipe their feet before going inside. Also, when starting this, I didn't know what type of aesthetic I wanted for the school. I was like, should I do a traditional American school? But after contemplating it back and forth, I was like, yeah, Japanese schools are the way to go. Okay, so we got a little footpath going at the front here. Very cute. And we need to make sure to add windows at the front here as well. So I want these windows to be a little bit different than everyone else. I want them to stand out. Ooh, I even like the look of these large panel windows. Kind of look cool. Scrumptious. It looks all right. I want it to look better though. So I swear every single time I build something, I'm like, I need it to look better. More detail. Oh, unless we do white for the front of the school. White or brown? I think brown. I mean, we can always make the paint white. Yes. Okay. That looks better. We're a little bit indecisive, but we get there. And then above these windows, lane high arches. Amazing, darling. Amazing. I don't know if you guys want me to do a speed build and for me to just talk over the speed builds. I feel like it's frustrating if uh, you guys want to copy this build and I keep cutting out parts. <laughs> so I don't know. Let me know if you would want to see a speed build. Stop! Okay. Stop! No. Stop! Well, I'm also building a fake footpath at the front because the default footpath is ugly and I'm not keeping it. We obviously need the sign to the high school so maybe we can have an arch and the driveway can go here. I feel like my parking always looks the same but I mean then again it's parking who really cares. Maybe we can make this the teacher's parking and then in the middle here we can split this up. Will it work? Will it look stupid? We shall see. Then student parking can go here. Okay it's not too bad not too bad. I don't know how you're gonna be able to drive through here. Let's just hope the cars are small enough. If you're at high school there are heaps of people have their license already. I remember it's such a big deal when someone got their license. It's kind of annoying actually. So when someone would uh, get their license and have a car, I'd walk into class and they would be so annoying about it. I'd be like, guess what? And they'd start swinging their keys around. I was so jealous because I couldn't afford a car in high school. So I was like, no one cares about your new car, shush. But, I mean, deep down, I was jealous. I was like, that one could be me. Okay, we have the arrow, so people, I don't know, know where they're going. That one looks a little bit weird, but we're going to ignore it. And lastly, just add some street lights and fill these gardens in. Because right now, they're kind of looking ugly and crusty. Oh, I'm perfect. I have a car in my inventory. So there we go. First car on the block. My little black GT86 over there. Okay, so parking lot's done, I'd say. Now for the actual high school sign. We won't have something too crazy. Just two pillars, a basic shape on top. For some reason, it feels like I'm building in Minecraft right now like with all these blocks except I don't like how blocky this is Except I don't like how harsh these lines are so we're gonna fix them by adding a horizontal wedge so then that way it's not like boom harsh line okay so sign here I also realized I don't have a decal yet for my high school so if any of you guys want to make me one feel free to and send it to me you know what I also realized where on earth are we gonna place the bins actually this works perfectly we can have the mailbox right here have our garbage bin and then a recycle bin and replace the mailbox with something more commercial. See? Brilliant. And then this way, all along the left side of the school, we can have some outdoor chairs and tables. Over here, this can be uh, where the cool people sit. And maybe some more trash bins up here. Alright, that looks pretty good. And before we continue working on the school, we just need to add the fence. And in most Japanese high schools, I've noticed they use a lot of chained fences. So I'm pretty much going to go around the entire school and add a massive chain fence. AKA saying bye-bye to all my money. <laughs> 
Ah uh, yes, kind of forgot the fact we need a um, drive away gate here so people can come in and out. And then for the entry of the school we can use fancy golden gates. And that's kind of golden. See what I did there? Okay, now continuing painting the rest of the exterior. We're pretty much using the same color palette that I used for the front. I'm using them on the back and the side. I don't know if I want to add pillars uh, by every single two block. Actually, you know what? No, we're doing it. I'm not being lazy. I'm going to add pillars. I've done a really cool concept for this build. So um, the school kind of wraps around itself as I'll show you. See this, for example, We've got the front of the school over here and then this is the middle of the school. So this is going to be a massive courtyard. And then we have over here, which is going to be the basketball court, track court, all the sports facilities. And we do have a bit of room at the front. So if I wanted to, I could potentially add an extra sports facility at the front. Oh, wait, unless I have the track field at the front and then the swimming pool at the back. Oh, oh wait, that sounds kind of nice. Why do I just sound like the guy from Madagascar? Do you know who I'm talking about? This guy, I can't come up with his name, but me editing this video, put a photo of who I'm talking about. Thank you. I can't move it, move it anymore. Ugh, why did I think it was a good idea to add pillars all around the school? I'm going crazy. If I add one more pillar, I think I might actually go insane. Guys, we're on the home stretch. Oh, the last pillar. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Never mind. Well, that's awkward. I was really out here thinking that that was my last pillar. Nah, get pranked. Okay, finally, these pillars are done, but now we have the windows. I don't even think I need these many windows, but you know, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna add all these windows in between the pillars and I shall be back. Oh, I just realized there's not going to be any windows here because this part here, I think it's going to be the gym. We might even just add windows on the top floor. I don't know about your guys' gym. My gym didn't have windows on the bottom. <laughs> and she just goes, what in the anime high school? Oh my gosh, how does she know? All right, back to adding windows. <laughs> Okay, the windows are done, finally. Oh my gosh, I never want to look at another window in my life. It's been 84 years. So because this is done, now we need access to the roof. I'm talking like this, for example. Some Japanese high schools can actually get up on the roof, which is kind of cool, like this. So I reckon we'll give people access through this section here. But then that means the entire school will quickly slap on a flat roof because you can't go wrong with a flat roof. We love flat roofs. And for the top here, I'm going to make this concrete. The more I'm building this, the more I'm realizing how big this school is. And I'm going to have to decorate the entire inside. You know what? If you guys like the series, I may even split this up into four parts instead of three. Okay, so roof's done. Now I'm just going to copy this fence gate. And add it on the entire roof. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is actually starting to look like a Japanese high school. I think. I don't know. I've never been to a Japanese high school, okay? Someone from Japan's watching this video, like, actually, this looks nothing like my high school, but good try. See, not too bad. Not too bad. I don't want too much furniture up here, so we're just gonna stick to a few park benches. This is where the loners can come eat their lunch. As in the loners, I mean me. If you want to go eat lunch by yourself, guess what? Go eat lunch by yourself. That way you do not have to worry about other people bothering you. So you're welcome. There we go. Park benches. Whoop whoop. I could potentially add more up here in the future, but we'll just leave it like that for now. And you know what? I changed my mind. With the front yard, we are adding a mini track field. Do I know what I'm doing? Not really, but <laughs> is it bad that I kind of forgot what a track field looks like? Oh, right. This. Yes. I mean, it's a good starter track field. I'll add an extra one uh, at the back of the school. I mean, it's definitely not measured out properly, but you know what? It does the job for now. And at least that fills in the massive space that we had at the front. And I know this is like way, way too small to even have a basketball court, but we're adding one anyway. Now, the final thing we have to do is the back here. Now, this is obviously going to be the assembly room. I was going to make the roof different, you know, be creative, but... Honestly, I think I'm just gonna stick to a flat roof. Oh, my cat, stop. Hold on. Smear, please. Please. 
and then one more roof coming out here pretty much exactly what i done for the front just to give the school that extra bit of light and now for this section as you can see these are usually what the courtyards look like and these are what the assemblies look like so i figured out what i'm going to do for the assembly room we're adding the wall back again except at the bottom here we're going to leave these open so people can walk in and out so we're just going to use arched openings and place this at the bottom so people can walk in and out of the assembly as they please our thing is i don't know if i want this assembly to be a basketball court or a swimming pool oh i feel like an indoor swimming pool would look so cool nah assembly makes more sense we'll leave it as an assembly and then the basketball court can go like all the way over here in the corner oh i kind of forgot the fact that uh i'm doing a mini track field so the track field is done so now for the courtyard okay i have a few ideas for what i want to do here i'm thinking right we can have a big centerpiece in the middle which can include a nice fancy water fountain right in the center and around the water fountain we can have seats so that doesn't look too bad i also want to add footpaths so a footpath leading to that section a footpath leading to the left wing of the school the right wing of the school the courtyard as well okay this is gonna be so much effort but as i was building the footpath i realized how much better a roof would look instead of a regular footpath see we have normal footpath ill boring and then we have a roof see how much better a roof looks times better as for the courtyard where everyone's going to be sitting i want there to be big beautiful japanese blossom trees on each corner of the courtyard because i just realized we need more trees in here like trees more trees like the side of the school trees along the footpath trees little trees big trees just trees please another one another one and then we can just copy these picnic tables and add them underneath like this. This is actually turning out so cute. Okay, we have all the seats. And one more final touch to this courtyard is maybe one more garden. Just some more bushes and gardens along the footpaths. Right now, it's looking a little bit bland. So this is what it looks like before. And this is what it looks like after. See how a few minor touches can make it so much more cozier. Could you eat this? Scrumdily yum yum. It was pretty dark in here, so I added some lantern. And then to get inside the courtyard. I reckon we're going to do the same thing we've done for the assembly and add these arch openings. So the courtyard complete. I think that is part one of our Japanese high school all finished. I think it turned out so cute and super accurate to the vision that I had in my head. Every single angle of the school as well looks so cute, especially the back. Hey, you guys know me. You know how ugly the back of my builds are and surprisingly, the back of this school actually looks cuter than the front, which is really weird. I'm extremely confused. And for those wondering, the total of the score so far comes to $288,000. So it's a bit of an expensive score, especially because the inside isn't even remotely finished. But I mean, so far, I am actually in love with it. In all honesty, if my school looked like this, I think I would actually attend school. But that is part one of my Japanese high school all complete. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in part two. Bye!